Thank you for visiting our channel to the Akimalti Review and also quick unbox this awesome Air Mouse remote. It is called W3 and it is made by WeChip and they are selling it on Tangula website. Now I have to mention that this is a beautiful remote so that's why we came out to do a review on it. I do not want to forget that this is one of unique designs that I have ever seen which is bringing it very near to Apple remote. So here we go. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all, in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. And here are the components that are part of the box. It comes with this little dongle and this is how your remote will work with your computer in this case with your android boxes and that's about it it also comes with this user manual now in the user manual it talks about everything that you need to know about the front or the back now when you open it it talks more about pairing method just in case if it ever gets disconnected infrared functions and how you will be able to program it and also cursor locking function and more is all inside of this. The remote itself is sitting inside of a little plastic. And once you take it out, this is how it looks. So it is double sided, but once you go to the one side, you have a little film that you gotta take out. And here's the remote. It is very similar to the actual Apple TV remote. Now here, both of them side by side. You can see that the design is pretty much the same. The only thing is, the size and when you go to the back I really like that they kept that same theme and the same type of chrome look in the back that this one just have the Apple logo this one does not but when you go to the front it looks really similar we're going to put this aside and let's go to the actual remote so from the top you have your power button and then you have a little LED and right on top of it you have another little hole the navigation key is set up really nicely and the OK button is in the middle but it does not have any kind of writing. When you go down, they really nicely cut it. And this part is very attracting the fingerprint. And once you see there, there's a home and also escape. You have a little mic button. So that top part is going to be your mic. Also, you have the menu key. You have the air mouse remote. And also you have the volume up and volume down. Now, when you look in the bottom part of it, it does indicate says we chip and this is how it looks. But once you go to the sides of it, there's nothing on this side, going to the sides again, going on the back, nothing here. And there is a little USB type C connection so that way you can charge it. Now the wire is not part of the remote itself. On the top you have a little part for IR sensor and I haven't played with that part yet, but here's the back part. It is really nicely done. You can see that it has all the buttons that you require. It's starting from escape going all the way to the www.com button and you can use it. Now that's not only thing, when you press the FN, all of the buttons that you see here will be used as a numeric. And also, so this one, if you use it as regular, and just a regular keyboard, but once you use the function and then a button, it will be functioning as the red icons that they have entered on this, as you can see right now. So let's go through and play with it for a couple of seconds to see how this will work with the Android boxes and also tvOS units. So the best part is that once you have the remote on hand and you want to press the air mouse remote and you can see that the mouse moves on the actual screen. So it makes it very easy for you to maneuver. That's the only thing when you grab it and you want to select certain things right on the screen. Now remember that this is a tvOS box and I'm playing with it and it plays really nicely going through and going next. So you can press escape go back up and you want to go to certain apps it's really nicely done so if i have to go here and then i want to go and play with one of my apps as an example i'm just gonna play one of them so in this case i'm gonna select the opera mini i'm gonna open it up i'm waiting for it to go to main screen and here you go so now if i have to turn on the mice on this there you go and i have to select the address bar and here you go. And now if I have to go 
you can see that there's an on screen that I cannot use the arrow mouse to it is because this is how the Android TV OS works. But if I have to flip it in the back, so if I have to go here and I have to type our own name, you can see that that automatically it start typing it for you. So that means is the keyboard in the back do work. So once it's done, we will turn this mice off and go in the bottom and we're going to say enter. And now it goes through on the internet to look for our name. Let's go through and use the mic. And there you go. So this is the mic itself when I select it. So now it goes to the actual place. And yes, you can see that that it is trying to find exactly what we're trying to say. So if I have to press the mic and say, what is the weather like today in Toronto? You can see that it is typing it and it is getting us all the information that we need for Toronto very easily. Now this is on tvOS so remember that we're not done yet. Alright so this box is something new with OS 10. Yes not OS 11 yet but what we're trying to do is see if this remote works with the regular Android boxes and then the remote itself is on hand so if I have to press the air mouse remote and then I have to play you can see that that it automatically shows up right over there so when I move it moves with it that means is the air mouse works properly that's not the only thing if I have to select or if I have to move anything you can see that that it does move on this remote but you can see that that it moves and it works properly using this remote with the latency on the actual box is not that much it's really nice I know that sometimes the screen goes a little bit blurry because of the remote in the front but if you know that the remote works really good playing with it and yes it types it properly and once it's done you can turn on the mouse and then go on the bottom and you can select go and this way you can select certain things but yes it works properly if you wanted it to go through and bring everything for you on the table so here you go this is windows 10 and it is our secondary monitor this is the second monitor and you can see that i put the mouse right over there but here's my remote and i have to turn it on so that i can use the mouse and yes you can see that the mouse works properly now if i have to use the ok button go down and select the start button you can see that that automatically just brings up my start and i can select certain things on it I just wanted to mention that yes it does work on windows and it doesn't matter what you're trying to do it should work for you in this case this is my browser and i brought it to the second monitor so i can go through and i can type things when you go there when you double click there's no keyboard comes up so you do need to flip the remote itself and then you have to go to and type something so let's go through and look for our own website in this case that and then press enter so it can go through and look for it and there you go so we are first thing that comes up is our youtube and our videos that we just loaded a few days ago and you can use the down arrow in order to go down so there are more information about our websites that we have already in our twitter our instagram this is really cool but this is how easy it is to play and you know more about this remote itself so this is very inexpensive you can find it on the website i will put the link in the bottom where you can order it from and it is double-sided i just wanted to mention that again and it will work and it just the only thing is that you need to find a usb type c connection so you can charge it if it ever runs out of charge there is a dongle involved so you can connect it for people that didn't watch the video fully and it will work with windows and also with android tv os and also regular android boxes even if you have linux or even if you have mac just have to connect the usb to it and it will work and that's about it visit our website which is xctext.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you